think of an Indian politician and think of what they are wearing and the first thought which comes to your mind and I'm talking about male politicians is wearing a khardi kurta pajama. That is largely as far as the North Indian politicians are concerned. Why are we talking about the dress code this time around? Because everyone is asking this question about what Rahul Gandhi's white t-shirt means. Is it just a dress that he is wearing or is there more to it? Is there a political angle to it? Is it a part of his image makeover? What is he trying to show? Actually, this is nothing new. He has been wearing a white t-shirt off late, but why it came into focus and sudden much chatter is because a comment which was recently made by his opponent, Smithy Irani, who lost from Amethi this time around. And she actually pointed out by saying, please notice the fact that Rahul Gandhi is wearing a white t-shirt. There is a clear-cut statement from him. In fact, I remember some of us had met Rahul Gandhi and we had asked him this question that why has he abandoned the khadi kurta pajama which normally you expect a male politician especially from North India and considering now that he's a member of parliament from Uttar Pradesh, he went on to say, I don't think much about clothes, I don't care about it, I wear a white t-shirt because it depicts transparency and simplicity. Transparency and simplicity and I don't really care much about clothes, I just prefer it simple. Well, we can counter question this by saying, why can't a kurta pajama also do the same? And therefore, we are led on to believe that there is very much a plan. There is a method in that simple white t-shirt he is wearing off late. In fact, it goes beyond the t-shirt. मेरे में और मोदी जी में ये फर्क है कि मोदी जी का टेम्पो अदानी जी के लिए चलता है मेरा टेम्पो युवाओं के लिए और अग्निवीरों के लिए चलता है तब तो कंपनी खड़े होने के दस हजार रूपए देती थी मतलब पहले पहले फंदा लगाया फिर फंदा टाइट किया सर्कल यहाँ शुरू हो रहा है ठीक है अब ये देखो यहाँ से जाएगा यहाँ आएगा इस पे जाएगा और यहाँ खत्म होगा You must have noticed recently certain video of Rahul Gandhi uh, of being released where he's doing martial arts. Again, nothing new. He's a black belt in Aikido. He's doing Jiu-Jitsu in which he's a blue belt. But why was this video suddenly released where he's shown to having done it and practiced it and not just he but many of his sathis during the Bharat Joro Yatra. Essentially what he tried to project was again a sense of discipline. Martial arts equates discipline, it's rigor, it's about testing your stamina. Again, this is a part of a larger plan which I'm going to try and explain and then ask your opinion whether it works and whether I'm getting it correct or not. But there are multiple points which are now being put forward by the Rahul Gandhi. One, a white t-shirt, very clearly fit, who believes in practicing, doing his gym or his martial arts no matter where he is. Because during the Bharat Jodo Yatra, Despite the unlikely hours he was keeping, the kind of long travels he was going through, he still carried on with his martial arts. And therefore to make the point that there are some things on which he would definitely not compromise on. And martial arts happen to be that one reason. But larger than that, it is also his way of showing how he is energetic. Now this is a Rahul Gandhi which is very different from before the Lok Sabha elections in one great way. He is definitely super confident. He's definitely ready to take on responsibilities. Remember how much of cajoling he required to become the Congress president, which he refused to be. And therefore, Mr. Kharge contested the elections and emerged as the Congress president. But it's the same Rahul Gandhi who agreed to become the leader of the opposition or the LOP. Of course, this is oozing his confidence and his enthusiasm that I can change things. That I have arrived, I'm going to be the contender and the challenger. Actually, being the contender and the challenger are the key factors behind him choosing that white t-shirt. What does a white t-shirt essentially denote? For that matter, what does a t-shirt denote? This t-shirt for me symbolizes transparency, simplicity and perseverance. I'm sure you use these values and fight for these values in your life. Of transparency, perseverance and simplicity. It denotes someone who is carefree, who doesn't want to stick to cliches, to norms, who wants to break out, but also he's trying to reach out to a large chunk of young people and voters of our country. 
So he's taking up issues like, you know, reservation. He's again trying to reach out to the aspirational youth of India who do not get to fulfill those aspirations who they see in the urban areas. He's trying to tell them that I am your youth icon, but I'm not going to restrict myself only to urban areas or the super rich. I'm going to give you those fight for your same rights and benefits which many of the younger people of India get in in the big cities, in cosmopolitan cities. That's one narrative he's trying to push through a white t-shirt. A t-shirt and a white one also denotes that you're not being very fussy about what you're wearing. You're just picking it up. And your focus is elsewhere and the focus is on the people. That is what he's also trying to denote. And also a break away from cliches that I'm going to be a hutke politician. I'm going to say and do things which my predecessors either have not done or people in my own party and my political opponents are not doing. The attempt which is being made by his image makeovers is going to try and show as the present Modi government and the Prime Minister himself as being tired and jaded and with nothing new to offer. In stark contrast, he is projecting himself as someone who is up and about, who is energetic, oozing with fresh and new ideas and reaching out to a younger, better India, which is the future of tomorrow. And in sync with this is these videos, for example, which he has brought out of doing martial arts to show his strength, to show his energy. But also, look what he's doing. He's traveling by bus, he's meeting up with people, the carpenters, the Uber and Ola drivers, sharing a meal with them and their family, again to show that I'm accessible, I'm down to earth, and I'm going to do pretty much what you people want to do. And of course, adding on to it is his foreign tours, where he's going to address the Indian diaspora, as we all know, in Texas, in San Francisco, pretty much around the same time when the Prime Minister is going to be making his American tour. Again, reaching out to a younger India, and I'm sure he's going to be talking about the caste issue when he goes abroad. Now, all of this together is like a massive jigsaw puzzle, which puts all the elements together to come up with a larger picture. So what is the larger picture? A young, energetic, no fuss, new ideas, breaking the norms, breaking the cliches, and coming up with a Naya politician, which happens to be Rahul Gandhi. Now, Rahul Gandhi and his team do understand that because Narendra Modi is the Prime Minister, there are lots of things which he may not be able to do because of logistical reasons and because he is the head of the government. Also, they calculate that what the PM has already done, what they are trying to do now, which is what the Congress party is trying to do now, and therefore the Congress can only better on it. So, you are going to see snazzy, video films in and around Rahul Gandhi, the way he travels, the way he writes, the way he speaks and the way he suddenly gets down from his car and he meets up with people, of course, wearing that white t-shirt. Which is why I go back to asking you this question, do clothes matter? Does a t-shirt going to make a difference? Remember Indira Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi with their traditional sarees, the emphasis on that. And remember how an outfit of the Prime Minister gave enough ammunition to the Congress party and to Rahul Gandhi and call him someone who's pro corporate Remember that famous jacket of him. So therefore, will it really matter that a Rahul Gandhi in a white t-shirt doing martial arts can capture the imagination of a new, younger voter turnout? Will it make a difference? Will it give a new look to the Congress party? Will the Congress enthusiasm or this optimism will actually be doubled thanks to the way he's dressing up? Do give us your opinions. What do you think? And thank you so much for watching.